Iron Dome, Israel's multi-billion dollar invincible missile shield, is starting to look more like an expensive, high-tech pinata for Iran. The Iran-Israel saga is anew. It's been going on for decades, but really heated up after October 2023, when Hamas launched a brutal attack on Israel, backed by Iran's fireworks supply. By 2024, both sides were openly trading blows. Israel hitting Iranian nuclear sites, Iran firing hundreds of missiles and drones at Israeli cities. Then in June 2025, Israel launched Operation Rising Lion, striking over a hundred Iranian targets and killing top commanders. But Iran wasn't done. They unleashed waves of ballistic and hypersonic missiles so fast and fancy that Iron Dome's usual 85 to 90 percent interception rate nosedived to just 10 to 15 percent. On June 13 alone, over 100 missiles flew in, and Iron Dome scrambled like a bouncer realizing the party's out of control. Then, on June 16, hackers apparently broke into Iron Dome's system, causing it to take an unexpected coffee break right when missiles rained down. Videos showed interceptors looping back and hitting Israeli positions. Talk about friendly fire! Israel had to call in American backup, because even superheroes need sidekicks sometimes. Iran's clever trick? Sending cheap missile decoys to waste Israel's $40,000 to $50,000 interceptor missiles, turning Iron Dome into a very expensive game of whack-a-mole. So, this isn't just bombs and rockets. It's cyber warfare, missile chess, and a pricey battle of wits. Iron Dome might still be iron in the ads, but in reality, it's a tired, expensive system that sometimes shoots itself in the foot. If you're living under it, maybe just run, because this invincible shield has a funny way of showing its cracks.